Welcome and thanks for stopping by. Today I'll be making Brazilian chocolate. Let's get started. Okay, I have my pan on low and I'll be adding into there sweetened condensed milk. Something I'll be using a lot of during this holiday season. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, I have my heat on low. I have it on three, as a matter of fact. And I'm just going to stir this and let it warm up a little bit. Okay, that has loosened up. And now into there, I'm going to add some baking cocoa. And I don't really measure it. I'm just going to put it in until it's chocolatey enough for me. Let's see. That was about two heaping tablespoons of cocoa. And we're going to just stir this until it mixes well and we're going to ease the heat up till four, to four. Okay, and today we're gonna add some butter. This is European butter. And it's softened. Soft, soft. And we're going to mix this and after this butter has melted I'm going to turn it up on on half a medium which is five because it's going to take a lot of stirring well not a whole lot but you're going to have to stir and stir constantly until it thickens Don't forget to be to, to taste. Taste and taste. Always taste your food. No matter what it is. Taste. And that tasted delicious. That tastes with an S delicious. Mmm. Mmm. I'm gonna change back to my uh whisk. going to continue, like I said, until this thickens. I'm going to add a couple drops of vanilla. And listen, if, if it starts to bubble like that, then turn it down because you want the chocolate to take its time. So turn it back down. and continue to stir. I decided to add two more tablespoons into the chocolate. You see how thick it's gotten? I'm gonna melt this down and then we're gonna add some more chocolate into it. Now I have my heat on the lowest, and I'm going to add in some semi-sweet chocolate chips. And this is about a half a cup. Stir. Nice and thick. Let's 
See how beautiful that is? I'm going to turn my heat off now. Okay, I have my pan and I'm going to pour this chocolate on the pan, which I sprayed a little bit. You don't have to, but I did. Because it's too hot to handle, so we're going to have to let it cool. going to set this in the fridge. We're going to let it cool probably for about 10 or 15 minutes. Meanwhile, we're going to uh, chop up some, some pecans because that's what we're going to coat our cho chocolate in. Not many. You can do it as fine as you like. Okay, that's been about 15 minutes. I've washed my hands. Of course, we should know to do that as grown people, right? So just a little bit. And as a matter of fact, that was a little bit too much. Just a little bit on your hands. I had to wipe some off, just a little bit too much. And this is a, a tablespoon. Make it into a ball. See how nice and shiny it is? I still could use a little bit less. Um, A little bit less oil. Wipe some of it off. Because um, this is oily itself, so you only need a teeny bit. Because remember you had the butter and whatnot in here? If you want them smaller, then use a teaspoon. Uh, it could have sat in the fridge a little bit longer, but after we get these covered, we're going to put them back in the fridge anyway. And this chocolate is so good. I think you'll love it. If you like chocolate, I think you will. and I'll probably roll it again after it's set. It's a little too big, but you know, you're making your own size. Not gonna be perfect. I need a, a, a melon baller, a little small melon baller. Would have made them perfect. And it's going to soften as the heat hits them. You might have to stop and put it back in the fridge again. 
your chocolate. in the fridge and I'm also going to roll these around and I'm going to roll them in there again and then I'm going to put them in the fridge because they're going to be soft really quickly. what they look like. After I fold them in. Well, chilled them, not free to fold. Okay, it's been chilling for a while. And I just want you to see that this is the kind that you have to keep chilled when you're not eating. You shouldn't leave it on the counter or anything like that. kind of chocolate and the delicious kind of chocolate mm-hmm it's real good hey try it you might like it and thanks for hanging out with me I really enjoyed your company and remember to pray then pray some more pray for her pray for him pray for you pray for them pray for us don't stop praying don't forget to give me a thumbs up Subscribe if you haven't. Tap that bell if you haven't. Share with family and friends. And comment. I would love to hear from you. Well, that's it and that's all for now. Until then, eat. Until next time, eat well and be well. Hmm. Love y'all. Later.